Smiley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, August 29th. Okay, so we have the moon in her rulership in Cancer Energy here all day. Of course, that brings up all the feels. It makes us a little bit more emotional and hypersensitive than normal. We're definitely more intuitive and we are more connected to reflection, to looking back to the past. Now, there is a strong attachment to the past with this Cancer Energy. Typically speaking, we tend to look back be nostalgic, romanticize the past. But because we're under Virgo season, a lot of this energy is going to be looking back at the past and realizing where it is that we could break certain narratives, certain emotional cycles, where it is that we could do better, be better, and improve our overall emotional disposition. Now, we have a little bit of help because, of course, Mercury stationed direct here yesterday, which means that the intensity of reflection, the intensity of looking back is about at 50%. Yes, the moon in Cancer is definitely going to continue to do that, but there would have been an extra oomph if Mercury had still been retrograde. Today, though, Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she's moving into her rulership in Libra energy. If you haven't listened to the Astro Forecast for both Mercury going direct and Venus moving into Libra, you should definitely do that. Bust open your Virgo season e-guide if you have it available and capture what is going on in your life, your thoughts, your feelings, some relationship dynamics, because these are the things that we're going to be working on as Venus moves through Libra energy. So there are 10 different aspects popping off here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Cancer energy going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Uranus, the Great Awakener, who, of course, is still in this Taurus energy. We only have a couple of days left for Uranus to be in a direct position. We will see Uranus go retrograde as we enter into September, a whole forecast coming at you for that. But this particular interaction is definitely highlighting the tension and conflict because, of course, Uranus wants us to wake up, wants us to be awoken to where it is that changes need to be made, especially for our futuristic plans and paths. Now, here's the thing. The moon and Cancer looking back. Uranus and Taurus looking in the present moment and looking forward. So the disconnect here is that emotionally speaking, we're still stuck in the past while our headspace is actively trying to get us to be present enough to take a stock, take inventory of our present day circumstances to figure out what we could do better, what we can improve, what we can change, what we can transform. So this is likely going to bring an element of confusion because again, when we're rooted in the past, we create a little bit more confusion and anxiety complications for ourselves than if we were just to be present. So this is likely going to have a little bit of an effect on our mood and our attitude. However, we're not going to sit in that for too long because at 9.23 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she's leaving the Virgo energy for Libra energy. This is going to lighten the vibe up just a tad, put us in a totally different heart space, different mind space as well. Venus then goes ahead, trines Pluto right out of the gate, which is an interesting dynamic. Pluto, of course, the great transformer who was retrograde in this Aquarius energy gives us air on air action. So a lot of thought, a lot of intellectualizing, a lot of brainstorming, if you will. And because Pluto brings the intensity to wherever it is that certain activations are taking place, in this case, Venus, our heart space, we are definitely going to feel the volume be turned all the way up on our excitement, on our passions, on our desires, helping us to hone in on a particular focus, whether that be a person, a place, a situation, a thing. We're hyped up. We're ready to make a transformation. We are kind of leaning towards the more positive, more optimistic side of things. We want to enjoy ourselves. We want to enjoy each other. We want to enjoy life again. We have an intensity that is propelling us to make some changes in the best kind of ways in order for us to do just that. Of course, we're in love with love. 
with Venus in Libra and energy. We want everyone to get along and be happy. But in order to do that, we do have to experience where it is that we've been living in extremes, where it is that we have wants, needs, and desires that we haven't been able to take action upon. And this is going to help us grow, improve, develop what needs to be done from here. Again, planning and strategizing where action needs to be taken in order to make a major change in our physical realm. The moon is then going to trine, beautiful interaction, with Saturn. Saturn being the lord of karma, he is retrograde in Pisces energy. He rules over roles, responsibility, systems, structures, foundations, and discipline. Here's the thing. We love boundaries with Mr. Saturn. Cancer energy has a problem with boundaries. They need to have boundaries. We all need to have boundaries, especially in realizing what it is that we can't go back to. A lot of the pain, a lot of the trauma that we are very much focused on that have already kind of transpired in the past was due to our lack of boundaries. And so this particular interaction going to give us a little bit of a reality check, not a harsh one, a little bit of a kind one on where it is that guess what? Those days are gone. We are tired of being doormats. We are tired of putting other people's wants, needs, and desires before our own. We have to build something different. Again, the moon and cancer needs a safe and secure and stable emotional foundation to operate from, especially as Saturn is peeling back the layers of the old world, the old foundation, the old structures, the old ways of doing things. We need to clear the space out in order to build something new. And this is definitely giving us a different perspective on what needs to be built, what needs to be brought to life, what needs to be created in our emotional realm before we can actually manifest it in the physical realm. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Venus. So this is an interesting dynamic. We have the moon in her rulership. We have Venus in her rulership fresh in it. We have our emotions, our intuition really helping us to see where it is that we have to break out of old habits, old patterns, old behaviors, and in some cases break away from some old people, some old relationship dynamics, some old connections. This isn't a Debbie Downer type of vibe. This is a light and fluffy interaction where we're starting to realize where it is that we want to pivot. We want to orient to the people, the places, the things that are bringing us happiness, bringing us joy, making us feel safe and secure, making us feel hopeful and stable for what is to come. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. Of course, he's in Gemini energy, expanding our mental plane, pushing the comfort zone in our mental plane to explore new ideas, to really tap into new perspectives, new ways of looking at things and really align with the narrative, an idea, a goal, a vision that is really pushing us out of our comfort zone, really helping us to grow, really helping us to expand. So, of course, any positive interaction with Jupiter is going to help us be confident, be optimistic, be hopeful, be wishful for things to come. It's an interesting dynamic because Jupiter is thinking about the future, even though naturally the moon in Cancer has us looking back on the past. But we're again under the influence of Virgo energy, which means that the reflection back in the past is super helpful for what it is that we can do differently here in the present moment to set us up for a different outcome as we think about futuristic moves, wants, needs, and desires. The sun in Virgo energy going to make a very difficult interaction with the north node in Aries energy. So that north node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to be more independent, trying to get us in the direction for the next mission, for the next chapter, for the next set of learning lessons. So very futuristically focused. But the sun, of course, shining a bright light in this Virgo energy needs us to be present, needs us to be in the here and now in order for us to examine what is working and what is not. Again, we have to identify the problem before we can fix it. And again, we need to plan and strategize a well carefully thought out plan before we're going to make any moves. So the hesitation here is that the North Node is trying to think about the future. Well, the sun needs us to be very clear, very present here and now. 
We are going to also see the ability to grow, to heal, to fix, to repair. But again, it's coming out of frustration. It's coming out of conflict. It's coming out of tension. We're not going to sit in that energy for too long. We do have the moon in Cancer making a very positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, who is now direct in the heart and soul of the zodiac in Leo energy. So our heart and our head are actually working together to get on the same page. Emotionally speaking, we realize where it is that we have to stabilize, where it is that we have to wrap up certain cycles, certain chapters before tapping into the new ideas the new passions, the new excitement for our futuristic realm. Again, in communication styles, we may find ourselves a little bit hypersensitive, really choosing to have some heartfelt conversations to clear the air. Again, we're in a post retrograde shadow period for two weeks with Mr. Mercury, which means that there's a little bit of conversation, a little bit of communication that we need to have in order to get some things off of our chest in order to get back on the same page with some people that this retrograde definitely created some conflict, some tension, some friction with. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with the sun in Virgo energy. So as we know, Anytime that the moon and the sun are interacting, there's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be a new level of emotional awareness on what we need to do, what we have to build, what we have to create. Of course, this is going to come out of tension, out of conflict, out of disappointment, out of dysfunction. But that's okay. Emotionally speaking, again, the moon in Cancer looking back, looking back to see what it is that we could do differently. The sun showing us in Virgo energy, room for improvement room for stabilization, room for adjustment. And because again, we are being highlighted to what it is that we can no longer do, what it is that we can no longer be a part of, this is going to be an aha moment on what it is that we could do differently. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Cancer Energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries Energy. So of course, this isn't going to feel good. It's not supposed to. It is going to put us in a little bit of a situation where we're getting down on ourselves, where we're feeling a little bit hopeless, where we're feeling a little bit sad. We aren't really feeling confident. We're not feeling so good about where it is that we're at, what it is that we're moving away from, what it is that we have to come to a certain term of acceptance about before we can move on. Again, Chiron being aspected and not the greatest way is going to illuminate the wounds of our ego selves, of our identity, of where it is that we're not feeling comfortable and familiar in this new version of self. A square highlights where it is that we're going through some growing pains and the growing pains are realizing what it is that we're moving away from, what it is that we're releasing, what it is that we're providing and ending a finality, a closure to, so that we can get on with it, allowing this new version of self to lead the way. <laughs> 